Before I get started, let me cue Razor Fist. Fuck you, I was right, fuck you, I was right, fuck you, I was right. Mm-hmm, you heard him. Fuck you, I was right. I did a segment a while back that caught some flack, talking about the writers and actors guild strike, calling it one big Hollywood hustle. When I put that out there, when I did those segments, oh, I caught some shit. People went in on me. People that obviously had a vested interest in the strike going their way. And all I did was point out common man sense. Easy to understand facts. And to sum it up for you, I simply said they don't give a damn about the little man that they purport to be fighting for. They don't give a shit about the up and coming young actor. They don't give a damn about the fledgling writer. And with the release of the most recent proposals that the studios offered to the writers, it proves that what I said was dead on accurate. Back on August 11th, the studios and the writers had a sit down. That's two weeks ago, y'all. And the studios offered them a pay raise. It will be the largest pay raise to the writers in 35 years. It is a 13% increase compounded over a three-year contract with a 5% increase in year one, 4% increase in year two, and 3.5% increase in year three. That's what the studios are offering the writers. Let me give that to you in monetary terms. So essentially, it's going to take the writers from 9800 almost $10,000 a week to $11,000 a week. And that's for a guaranteed nine weeks of work. I will say that again. It takes them from $9,800 a week to $11,000 a week for up to nine weeks. Now just doing quick math, in nine weeks, in just over two months, they will have made $99,000 gross. They continue on. The pay increase will go from $8,200 a week to $9,400 a week for a guaranteed of 10 to 19 weeks. Furthermore, it will increase from $7,400 a week to $8,500 a week for a guaranteed 20 to 29 weeks. Across every tier, that's a 15% increase. Now, remember what the writers were saying when this strike first started? They wanted a livable wage. And in the segment I did, I took the low end, the livable wage being four grand a week. They more than double that. According to what I just read, y'all, in Deadline, the studios put that information out there that the writers on average were making $9,800 a week. How the f*** is that not a livable wage? They complained about being treated like gig workers. Y'all are guaranteed now nine weeks of work for $11,000. Y'all are almost making $100,000 in just over two months. And do you know what the WGA said to this deal, to this offer? Nothing. Remember, this was offered to them on August 11th. We are now on August 25th. That was 14 days, two weeks ago, y'all. So if it's all about a livable wage, if it's all about helping the little man, then why haven't they jumped on this? Could it be because they really don't give a damn about the little man? They don't give a damn about those lower tier members? All they really want is more, more power, more money, more say, more control? I wonder what those people that went off on me in my comment section are going to say now. Well, they might say, well, Tucker, they, they, they increased the, the money, but, but, but what about... uh?" What about uh, the residuals? What about our residuals? Okay, what do they say about the residuals? Total worldwide domestic and foreign residuals would increase from 72,000 to 87,000 per episode for three years. Oh, a $15,000 increase. So that can't be it. But wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Why haven't they jumped on this? Come on, where, where, where are my people at? I, I need y'all to help me understand. Remember, y'all called me ignorant to the situation. Y'all called me dumb and all that old shit. When I told y'all that gills, aka unions, are nothing but hustles. So you might say, well, well, well Tuck, what about, uh, 
what what about minimum employment? Yeah, we we, we want to work minimums. Well, I just read to y'all that that opening salvo that nine thousand dollars a week to eleven thousand dollars a week is guaranteed nine weeks, and every pay tier under that is guaranteed workage. So, w- what exactly are are you talking about? Well, what about? Let me help you out. There's also another term that the studios came to the writers with that says writers in a development room will now be guaranteed a minimum of 10 weeks of employment. So that that, that pretty much squashes that. They're they're giving y'all a guaranteed work minimum right there. I told y'all the guilds don't give a damn about y'all little dudes. Do you understand what it must be like for that low tier writer, that first year writer, that second year writer, the one who's just getting his feet wet in the business must be saying when he sees all this and why the guild after being offered this two weeks ago still has not signed a deal and agreed to terms because I know if I was in the guild I'd be calling my guild head up and going what the f- what the literal f- are y'all doing they have offered us a 15% increase in pay they have offered us an increase in residuals and it's the highest pay raise in 35 years. Not only that, hold on, hold on. Not only that, the studios and streamers are offering the WGA increased data transparency, which will be comprised of viewership data in the form of quarterly confidential reports. So now you can actually see if your show is worth a damn and get paid accordingly, which is what I advocated for from the giddy up. That was the only thing I supported Well, the streamers open those numbers up to see how well the show is doing. So they have come to the table with a good faith offering of every term that you had an issue with. So why the f*** is a deal not signed and done? Like I said, little people, they don't give a damn about you. It's all about power for them. So I was right. Y'all were wrong. Apology accepted that I know I'll never get. So I guess I will end this the same way I started it. Raise a fist. Fuck you! I was right! Fuck you! I was right! Fuck you! I was right!